Brother Peter. Yes, Pastor. Yeah, 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 I can hear you, Holy Spirit. Speak to me. Your servant is listening. Brother Peter. Yes, Pastor. God said he wants to take you to a higher level, a level you can never believe. In one week. Thank you, God. Yes, yes, yes. Your word is yes, and amen. Brother Peter, do you believe? Of course, Pastor, I believe with all my heart. You need to sow a seed. Ah, uh, thank you God for remembering your servant. Brother Peter, what is your heart's desire? Pastor, I want a breakthrough. I need a change in my life. I want to go to the next level. God has heard you, but you must. Provoke him to move fast by. Sowing a good seed to him, let him know you are ready, and watch him surprise you. I mean, God wants to lift you up. He wants to throw you to a higher level. And he cannot fail. He has made a promise, which he will undoubtedly keep. Oh no, oh no, brother Peter, God wants to embarrass you with a blessing. I can't believe that God loves me this much. Who am I? Who am I that you have decided to embarrass me with a blessing? Be thou glorified. Indeed, he is worthy of praise. Now go and sow a seed. I will pastor. In fact, I will give him everything I have. It's okay, stop crying. All you need to do is sow a seed that will shake heaven and make them smile on you. Thank you pastor. Go in peace. Amen. <clears throat> I can't believe this. Me, Peter, going to a higher level. Wow, this pastor is too much. Look at the way God is using him. In fact, I will sell one of my properties and use it to sow a seed, to show my appreciation for what God is using him to do, especially for me. My dear, our time has come. What happened? The pastor, I attended his church today, told me that God wants to take me to the next level. In one week. Are you serious? In fact, I am going to sell our land and use the money to sow a seed, so that heaven will move fast. But... Why will you sell our land? We only have two. Do we need to give God a bribe for him to bless us? Although it is good to give to God, but not in this way. Dear you will not understand, Pastor said we should sow a good seed to move God so that he will be fast about it. In fact, later I will explain to you, let me go and look for a buyer. Okay, but be careful. There is nothing to be careful about. I want to go to the next level. Or don't you want to go to the next level? Of course, I want. You see. This is the land. I have seen it. How much are you selling it? Give me $5,000. You know the land is in good sight. I can see that. In that case, I have to transfer the money to you. Go ahead. Ta, 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 ta. Thank you Holy Spirit. Brother Peter, you are welcome. Thank you man of God. Actually, I have come to sow a seed of $5,000 to God. Oh yeah, 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 brother Peter, you have moved God, and he has released your blessing. Thank you God. Yes, yes, heaven has begun to shake. Brother, Peter. Yes, pastor. Excess blessing is on its way, looking for you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God said I should tell you that you will be transported from this level to a higher level in one week. In fact, money will be looking for you. Say, I receive my miracle. Amen, amen, I receive my miracle, Lord. Oh, child of God, it is time to celebrate. Go home and move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. I can't believe this. Finally I have money to travel out. Pastor said in one week. My next level will locate me. In fact, let me start planning where to build my estate. I think I should build one in area C, then another one in area B that is it. This has been more than one week now. I have not seen any sign of my next level, and the man of God promised me that my next level will locate me in one week's time. That is why I sold my land, the better one, for that matter, and gave it to him. The worst is that since then, I have not seen him. I have asked around, and people said he traveled. Does it mean he uses me? So that man is a fake man of God. Oh no, 
so I have fallen victim to this fake man of God. Does this imply that there is no true man of God who can say something and it come true? Why did I go there in the first place, and now instead of me receiving one, I end up losing the one I have? I have learned my lesson. I will never have anything to do with church or any pastor. They are all fake, and I shouldn't have followed my friend there. Now it looks as if I am going backward instead of forward. <coughs> Dear, how are you feeling now? <coughs> I am not seeing any improvement. In that case, let me take you to the hospital. Doctor, what is going on? My wife is not getting better at all. I have spent and spent, yet there has been no improvement. I am so tired. What kind of sickness is this? Mr. Peter. I will advise you to go spiritual. This is a spiritual case. We have done all we can, and yet there has been no improvement. This is not what we can handle, so I will advise you to go spiritual. Oh no. Okay, doctor, I understand. I will do as you say. Yeah, yeah. I don't know any powerful native doctors around here. What do I do now? Maybe I should meet Sean. My friend, I am sure he will have an idea. Dear let us go home. The doctor said we should go spiritual. Yeah, yeah. I pray I meet Sean so that he will direct me to a powerful native doctor. Yes, come in. The door is open. Thank God, you are here. Welcome Peter, I hope there is no problem. Sean, my good friend, I need help. Go on. What of your wife? How is she? That's why I am here. The doctor said my wife's case is spiritual, and I don't know any powerful native doctors. I don't know if you know anyone. Please help me out. I don't want to lose my wife. What about pastors? Why not seek out a good pastor? I am surprised that you are saying this to me. Have you forgotten what one did to me? There is no good pastor in this world. All of them are fake. Please, I don't want to go there. Okay if you insist. Yes, I remember. There is one powerful native doctor, called the wise one. The man is so powerful, I believe if you go there, your problem will be solved. Thank you very much, Sean, my good friend. I knew I would get help from you. What are friends for? Let me give you the address. Thanks, I will be going now. Alright, go well. Now I have hope. I believe it will work for my wife. Repent. It is wickedness to forsake God in preference for other gods. Why will a human forsake God, the Creator, the one who created heaven and earth and everything in them? The one who holds all power for a God that will soon be destroyed, yes. Jeremiah 10 verse 11, says, Any God that did not create heaven and earth must be destroyed. When we refuse to accept the living God of the Bible, we become worshippers of various elements in life, such as money, worldly possessions, and pleasures. God's warning is clear and unmistakable about the fate of those who choose idol worship and who refuse to accept the established standard of His Word. Look at them, they're looking for someone to deceive again. Fake pastors, everywhere. A beg, let me go and meet the native doctor. Wise one, my friend direct me to you. You are at the right place. What can I do for you? Say it, and it shall be done. My wife is having a very strange sickness, and the doctor said it is spiritual. That is why I am here. I can see it, you don't have a problem, and I will heal her. Yes, I knew it. But wise one, what will it take? Bring two goats, six yam tubers, three white cocks, three black cocks, seven cola, red oil, one lizard, and five hundred dollars. No problem. In fact, I will sell my car and see it happen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh no. What kind of sickness is this? What should I do for this sickness to leave my wife? There is no kind of hospital that we have not been to, yet this sickness refuses to go. Even the native doctor, on whom I rely, fails me. I want to die. I want to die. Dear please, hold yourself, you will not die. Remember you are all that I have. What am I going to do if you leave me? What will be of me? Please stop saying that, I will think of what to do. Ooh, ooh. 
Let me think of the next thing to do. Praise the Lord. I bring good news to whoever is listening to me, and the good news is, Jesus cares for you. He is interested in your spiritual, physical, and material well-being. He saves from sin, heals all sicknesses and diseases, and delivers from all infirmity, sickness, or disease you may have been coping with all these years, Jesus is able to take it away. Pray to Him, and you will not be disappointed. There is nothing difficult for God. Call upon God. He is able to deliver you from whatever you are facing. Dear, honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. The wise one gave us hope that his medicine will work, but instead of it working, the sickness became more serious. I don't know where else to go, and I am so tired of this our situation. Call the pastor and ask him to pray for me. God can heal me. Forget about them. They are fake. Have you forgotten how the other one duped me and the other one deceived me? I don't want to hear anything about them, please. In fact, let me go and tell the wise one that the medicine he gave us did not work, and who knows if he will give us a better one that will work. Okay, go well. I don't want to be separated from my wife. <laughs> wise one, the medicine you gave me did not work, and my wife is still the way she is. Did you use it the way I instructed you to? Yes I did. You must have made a mistake. That is why it did not work. What mistake was one? I did everything you asked me to do. I paid you enough money. What is it again that I should have done but did not do? Hey, no shouting here. Please give me good medicine. See, the money you paid for has expired. If you need another medicine, you have to bring another amount of money. But this is not our agreement. You promised you could heal my wife. Why are you saying different things now? If you know you cannot heal her, then give me my money and let me go to another place. How dare you? Don't you have fear? Do you want me to turn you into a goat? I am sorry, wise one. I am just frustrated. Please help me. I want my wife to be healed. If you want another concoction, bring more money, or get out of here. But. No but. I don't have money anymore. I sold my car to do all you asked me to do. Why are you talking about money again? Get out of here before I turn you into a goat. Oh no. Nonsense. This is my business. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's getting worse by the day. What do I do now? Jesus said, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. He did not say, I have given your pastor power to help you tread upon serpents and scorpions. Jesus said, Ask, and it shall be given to you. He did not say, Tell your pastor to ask for you. The power is given to you directly. You have the power to call upon God. All you need is faith and trust in Him. So why will you forsake God, simply because you meet a fake pastor? Is God fake? Is God a human? As long as you have given your life to Jesus. You have the authority to call on God faithfully, and he will respond. The fake pastor is a human like you. If he is a human and you are a human, that means, you too can be a pastor. If he is a fake, that means, you too can be the real one. So no excuse for you. Repent. Seek the face of God yourself. Do not look down on God because of your fellow human. God is not a man. Call him, call him. God is your father. You don't need another person to talk to your father. Tell him what you want. He's everywhere. He hears you. He is waiting for you to call him. He is the one that created you, not the fake pastor. Every impossibility is made possible only by him. Everything that was created was created only by him. All power belongs to him. As long as you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, and you are not living a sinful life, like lying, fornication, killing, robbing, wickedness, envy, witchcraft, idol worship, and many others, God will answer you when you call on Him. Even if you are living a sinful life, you still have time to make amends, reject those sins, accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, and God said He will forgive you. What am I thinking? What is wrong with me? Is that pastor God? Should I turn my back on God just because my fellow human is a fake pastor? If he is a fake pastor, why can't I be the real pastor? Anyone can be a pastor. God, forgive my blindness. Forgive me for running to the devil. Just because of my fellow human, Lord Jesus.
come into my life. Let every negative in me against God disappear right now. I reject you, Satan, and your agent. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit come upon me. Hey, hey. In the name of Jesus, I command you, evil sickness, to disappear from my wife and never come back. Achoo! Dear, I am hungry. Please, I want to eat. So, I too have the power I am looking for outside. Thank you, Jesus. I will never turn my back on you because of my fellow human. You too can be the real pastor. Have you stopped worshipping God because of what one fake pastor did to you? Have you turned your back on God because of your fellow human beings? Listen, God is not a man, nor can he change. Don't forsake him because of what flesh and blood like you did to you. You can do it yourself. The power is already in you. Go to your Heavenly Father directly, and he will answer you. If you find a fake pastor, then be the real one. Never turn your back on God because of your fellow human. God is not a man and can never disappoint. The same way God created that fake pastor, that is the same way he created you. So, you too can be the real pastor. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you so much.